Honestly, like there's nothing that could pull me away from this. And so that's like the biggest thing. Like I just, I, I don't think there's anything out there like what we have. Trevor! Trevor, let's go fellas! Let's go, there you go, Dave Morrison. Come on. <laughs> Hold on, he might be naked. Hold on, let's see. Naked check. Oh. <laughs> On some snowmobiles. I don't we're gonna I, get outfitted, and we're gonna travel about thirty we're miles. We're gonna full into the mountain, up the mountain, full throttle. If you're not full sanding, but I got myself you're a not Damascus a blade on my hip, and I can feel <laughs> any sort of animal. <laughs> we can feel danger from a mile away. We're going straight through the blizzard. If you ain't got Damascus steel, you ain't gonna make it. <laughs> Lion Hive for us is intended to be something that as we move forward, we create a brotherhood among our leadership group where new ideas are valued, uh, we are progressive in our thoughts and in our attention to the future, and that we are intentionally making ourselves better. When the four of us sat in a room together two years ago and created CODA, um, we put in big bold letters up on the board that we wanted Coda to provide the very best rep experience uh, in the country. And since then, every single decision that we've made, um, we've always asked ourselves, is this going to provide a better rep experience? And if the answer is yes, we do. Can you buckle your pants, dude? <laughs> and we want this to be a home for our people. We want them to feel like they're part of a family. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. The tour went bankrupt and it disappeared for three years. And I decided that I wasn't going to give up on my dream and I was going to continue to play. And I found ways to make it happen. I coached two club teams, a high school team, went and played in Japan on their pro tour, went and played in Puerto Rico on their pro tour. I did anything I could to keep this dream alive that I wanted to you know, pursue. And I wanted to play in the Olympics, I wanted to win tournaments, and I wanted to be a professional beach volleyball player, and that was it. Seven days later, the tour goes under and I lose everything. So, there was all these like stepping stones leading up to where I've been able to go to it as an Olympian that would have derailed everything that I ever wanted. I've got four kids, live in Southern California. If I don't win tournaments, I don't get sponsors. If I don't win tournaments, I don't get paid. 
I don't win tournaments, people say I'm too old and I should probably retire. But there's all these things kind of fighting against it. Being a guy that's going to be 40 in a month or two, playing against guys that are 22. One thing that Scott Hyde is notorious for doing, he always says, welcome home. Um, and that's just it. We want them to know that this is home, that we're gonna take care of them. Um, we're gonna do everything in our power to make sure that they can provide for their families and that they feel like they're part of the Coda family. Where my ball is at? I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. Woo. <laughs> we made it! is this going to provide a better rep experience? And if the answer is yes, we do it. Lost my track. I just blew out the rear end, boys. 48 hours with cold D's all you need, I guess. You know this, bro. Never try to pass me, you or you. You know this. I'm too fast. Dude, hey, Reggie, we got a sled all the way down the mountain. Was that the kid trying to keep up or something? Yeah. Yeah, getting cocky. Hey, will you let everybody know to stay on the trail unless we stop to play somewhere? Oh. This can happen 10 more times if we're not careful. I couldn't have done that anything that way because I just come off the bridge. Like I just come to a full stop and then turned right. And then it was just like going forward again. Who is this? Oh, this is, this is Lido again. Oh, is this round two? Yeah, another day, another three. <laughs> when in doubt, roll it. Dude, straight into the trees. Damn, bro. You're pulling off logs. No one knew who was who. Yes, yeah, now we all know who you are, exactly. Am I right or am I right? This is yuppie. This is yuppie. You know who I am now, though.